Hello everyone, this is Kevin the Switch Hippie here with another exciting episode of Groovy Old Records. And I've been on night shift, so I have my coffee here. And we're going to talk about some of my recent uh, discoveries in the bargain bin. Rescued from the bargain bin, I like to call it, because that's basically what you do. You find these things in the junk stores, the bargain bins, and you give them a good home, right? And you listen to them. You love them. So the first one I got here is Playing It Straight, Homer and Jethro on RCA Records, right? Yes, RCA Records, produced by Chet Atkins. Uh, great record. You know, they were kind of marketed as, as a kind of a comedy duo, but they're actually brilliant musicians, and this is a brilliant record, and it sounds great. Um, I like the uh, Nanner Pudding, which is kind of a jazzy thing. So if you ever see this in your travels, be sure to pick it up. Plain and straight, Homer and Jethro. The next one, this is Sweet Talk by Boots Randolph. If you, Boots Randolph, of course, is famous for Yakety Sax, right? And everybody watched Benny Hill when you were a kid, you remember the Yakety Sax? Anyways, it, Yakety Sax is a great song because Boots Randolph is an absolutely excellent musician. And anything, all his records to me are absolutely brilliant. Um, this one is great. It's in mono, but it sounds brilliant. And I highly recommend if you get anything from Boots Randolph, great saxophone player. And this one, the song Percolator. And I think I've included it in my feed below. So you can look for the Percolator by Boots Randolph. Absolutely excellent. Next one, of course, Night Train. Um, Oscar Peterson, kind of a, a jazz classic album, right? This one, um, it's on the Verve record. This one was a little scratchy, but it, it, it gets the job done. But So anyways, rescued that, and this was $1.99. So thank you. Um, another one I got here, it's kind of falling apart, is uh, An Hour with the Ramsey Lewis Trio, and of course the album's not here, right? So I mean, it's still $1.99. Uh, the record's scratchy, it's a promotional copy, so it's not for sale, so it's kind of cool to have, you know? I looked the value up, not really a lot in, in terms of monetary value, but still. Absolutely excellent album, and you don't know, suffer through the scratches, and you'll you'll you know you'll you'll dig it. So the next one, aha! Uh -huh. This is Don Gibson. He was kind of a country kind of singer. Um, again, produced by Chet Atkins. I'm gonna be honest with you. I haven't listened to this one yet, but I am gonna listen to it one day. <laughs> Don Gibson, of course, famous famous uh, uh, a country artist. The next one I have here is one of my absolute favorite records of all time, oddly enough, is the Three Penny Opera. This is the American version, right? The, um, the, 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 the original play was in German, right? And you can actually buy somewhere, I'm sure you can buy the German version, the original German version. But this is the um, Three Penny Opera. This is from the Broadway cast, and this is what they call a re record, right? So it wasn't the, they took the old model thing and they re recorded to make it sound like stereo, I guess. So um, it's kind of a, isn't it not a rare album, but it's, it's pretty good. And I liked, I, I mean, like, like I said, this is one of my favorite albums. Um, it's got Lottie Lenya in it, who of course was in the James Bond movie, The Lady with the Shoes. And it also has uh, B. Arthur from Golden Girls and um, Charlotte Ray, who was in that, that, that um, Family Ties show or whatever that is. So uh, classic, absolute 19, this one came out I think in 63, but the actual play came out in 59. Wonderful record. Music's great. I'm not a Broadway guy, right? But I like this record. Um, I have on CD as well, and I've got the movie somewhere, the original black and white movie that, that Hitler didn't like. So anyways, it's an interesting, and of course it's got Mac the Knife on it, right? Everybody knows that song Mac the Knife, the original one was there. The next one I got for you here, this is cool too. This is um, Swinging South, oh, plastic wrap is full. Swinging South, Les Paul and Mary Ford. What can you say about this? I mean, anything that Les Paul makes to me is just crazy. The man is a crazy guitar. He invented the guitar, right? Awesome record. Um, this is kind of more of Southern music, kind of folky kind of thing, but I'm saying it's all electric guitar. I mean, you know, so what can you say about it? It's guaranteed to be good. And that's the kind of record you like, right? 
Okay, the next one I have here is, oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is a uh, Ima Sumac, and I don't know if you're familiar with her work. She was quite popular in the 40s and 50s. She kind of has this operatic mumble kind of, I know how to describe it. It's like nothing you've ever heard. Look her up on YouTube if you want to see what kind of music she makes. This is a great album. It's uh, the old uh, Capital High Fidelity recording. I think this is from 59. I had it written down, I forgot. Anyways, wonderful, wonderful voice, interesting. You know, it's not, like it's nothing you've ever heard before. You'll never hear this kind of thing again. It's exotic, it's weird, it's mumbo, it's, it's classical, it's opera, it's everything rolled up into one. Ema Sumac, and this is a uh, voice of the, whatever that word is. She's from Peru, so it's a Peruvian music. So. Excellent record, excellent record. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a good one. This is um, the quarries. And you know, the Corys were, the, they're Scottish folk music brand. They're the two, uh, uh, they're the two guys there, Ronnie, uh, was it Ronnie and, um, what the heck, I can't remember his name. Ronnie and Roy, there we go. Ronnie and Roy are the Corys. And, they, and I think they both have passed away uh, in, in the past few years, but they made, they are like it when it comes to Scottish folk music. They, they, and they had a lot of records back in the 60s and 70s during folk revival where they would dress in traditional clothes and they would uh, play the crazy traditional Scottish instruments and all that. So um, this is from 1976. This is an EMI collection of their greatest hits. Now what's interesting about this record is that I have the CD and you can buy the CD for this and damn near every gift shop in Scotland, they all Will hold, they all will sell this CD version of this album, the very best of the Corys. And I highly re recommend it. They're excellent musicians. Again, there's some good Scottish traditional music with the boodin and the pipes and all that. You know, not not the not the bagpipes, but the the what are they, the the Ulian pipes, that kind of thing. So, anyways, great album, uh, great band, uh, the Corys, uh, Ron, Roy Williamson and Ronnie Brown. And I, like I said, I think they have both hands have passed away, but. Very, very important figures in Scottish folk music. That's all I'm going to say. Check them out, and this album is a good collection. So, and then finally, the last one is this is kind of a weird one. This is uh, Airwaves. It's a compilation compilation of it's kind of avant-garde kind of stuff. So, like Lori Anderson's on here, and um, the, the record's in good condition. And it's actually kind of valuable. So I didn't pay but nothing for it. And you know, I see him on Discogs, you can probably sell this for like $50 or whatever. So I have included the Laurie Anderson tracks below on my feed there. So you can listen to the, um, uh, um, it's not the bullet that kills you, it's the hole by Laurie Anderson. So anyways, a lot of avant-garde, kind of trippy stuff on this record. It's a two record set. Um, Highly recommend it. So if you happen to find it, keep it, because if, if you have a copy, it might be worth a little bit of money someday. So anyways, that's my wrap up for today. We'll talk to you guys later. I got a couple more episodes coming up. So see you then. Cheerio.